For some people, when times are good, they may be able to live for God. Like, if they have enough money for rent or for living expenses, if they have a job, if things are going well in a person's life, <clears throat> some people may be able to live for God okay. But what if you lose your job? What if you don't have enough money for rent? What if you are placed under stress? I believe that matters more. It may be easy to live for God when times are good, but what are you going to do when times get bad? I think, I can't be wrong about this, but I believe your performance and how you live for God matters more when you are placed under stress. When things aren't going all the way right, I believe your performance in living for God matters the most. When times are good, <clears throat> I think some people are willing to give. Like, hey, I have more than enough. Let me give. I believe when times are good, some people may not get irritated as easy. Why? Because times are good. Some people may not get as irritated as easily. When times are good, some people may be able to perform better in God. But what good is it if you fall all the way off when times are bad? So let's not only focus on how we perform when times are good, but let's place, let's place extra focus on how we perform in God when times are bad. Hey, I am a very good Christian when times are good, but I get very demonic when I am placed under stress. What good is that? I think we should focus where we are weak. Am I telling you, am I telling you Uncle Cav is so perfect, like I have no problems with me? I think some people think in their mind when I talk about stuff like this, as if I am making myself or making it seem as if I am perfect. I need room for improvement as well. The Apostle Paul needed room for improvement as well. So I am not saying I am doing everything right. And I am saying too, I'm not out there doing a whole bunch of wrong either because how would I be able to teach anyone if I am doing what I am teaching against, unless I am teaching it in another type of way, I guess. But I believe I have to be an example. So focus, look now, I believe if you live for God, I think he is going to test you with hard times. Didn't he do that with Job? I believe so, right? So 
for myself, when times, if I am placed under stress, much of the time, I have to focus so much more on how I behave more than when times are good. So I pray that this makes sense. Like, place so much focus when you are placed under stress. Because I think it is going to happen to everyone who lives for God or who is trying to live for God. I believe there is going to be a time when God will or will continue placing you under stress. So try not to fall every time if or when you are placed under stress. You see, I want to elevate. I want to get over some barriers. Let me not continue to trip over the same thing over and over and over again. Let me be able to step over that obstacle instead of tripping at that same point, which happened so many times in my past. Look, whoever told you a Christian life is easy Maybe they were trying to encourage you, but to me and the person I help, I think we both agree that living for God for us is not easy. For me, not easy at all. Well, there are some times when, I guess I call it, where there is a time of peace to where I am not really receiving as many attacks, then I believe I enter into like a, <laughs> a wave of attacks or a wave of demonic dreams and stuff like that. So yes, at some points, living for God may be easy in some ways, but I believe I can say it is difficult as well. So overall, I would say on a scale one through 10, one being the least difficult and 10 being the most difficult, I would say maybe seven, eight, six, six to eight maybe because it's not really super easy and it's not really super hard. So it's like, I guess, in the between. So let me stop here. Focus, focus on the way you behave when times are bad. You may act like the perfect Christian, the perfect Christian when times are good. But how do you act when someone gets on your nerves or when you are mistreated or when you are betrayed or when someone has done you wrong? How do you behave then? I think that matters more. Let me stop here. God bless you.